Hello, and welcome back to Journey's Rooted Hold. We, we finished the hold. We finished the hold, but we didn't quite get mastery. So here I am on the 20th level. This is the only room that I missed. Uh, as you can see from the map, it was in this room right here. Okay, I guess this is something that we haven't had yet in this hold. Preplaced mimics, at least I don't remember seeing any. Okay, we got some sort of timer. Good luck. Alright, Slayer is not quite dead yet. Trying to oh there's spiders there. Of course there are. Right, spiders. Um, I guess... Wait, is this a challenge? Uh, spiders, let's see... Challenge... Kill the spiders... by dropping the trapdoor? So I think what I'm supposed to do here is I'm supposed to cut the tar stuff and then bombs blow up, killing the spiders, lighting this fuse, bomb blows up, and from here I'm safe. I've cut all the tar stuff. Wait a minute. Good luck. I'm not safe here, am I? Oh no, of course not. Okay, well. Good luck. I mean, I don't know that that's the challenge. Uh, alternatively, the challenge could be to not let any of these mimics die. You know, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll do it the easy way, because this won't take long. Uh, I've been way too slow, haven't I? Uh, start with a more sensible Good luck. sword orientation. Okay, what does the challenge say? Challenge, don't stab any tar or mud. Okay, well... That would suggest to me... That... Let's see, when this goes off... I... Will be dead. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's not possible. I can't I can't get out of the room without stabbing tar or mud. So it must be because because of this door. Yeah, so as written, this challenge is actually impossible. So I'm going to assume that 
but it's actually saying he's kill all the spiders before killing all of the tar and mud. And because one, two, three, one, two, three, yep, I can't hide here, so I'm gonna have to hide here, which I can't. Wait a minute. Okay, well, when these bombs go off... Three... Three... Hmm... I guess I could hide up in this area somewhere. Wait, it said don't stab. Okay, so these bombs are gonna blow up all the tar and mud for me. Okay, so I guess that is actually possible then. Uh, I think it said. Don't stab, right? Not don't destroy. Uh, anyway, so the start of this is, in fact, drop the trapdoor. Good luck. Which a little bit awkward. So where do I want to? Where do I want to fight here? Not great. An okay spot. Oh, there's so many. I'm gonna get up here and clear this out really quick. That's not happening. That's yeah, that's not gonna work either. Here? Is that a good spot? Let's see, the problem is this spot. I am going to have spiders here, and I'm going to have spiders here. That's not really possible, so I don't think that's going to work. But what about all the way up here? Is there something I can do with that spot? Good luck. Do that, they move immediately. And I want to... So if I'm standing here with my sword like this, this is gonna move last, so this is gonna move here. No, I don't think that's gonna work because they're just these ones are just gonna come around the side. I'm not gonna clear that out fast enough. How about down here? Hmm. This is all about finding a a position. This spot be okay? No, of course not. Be too vulnerable on all the sides. Here. Here. This vulnerability is kind of blocked by this stuff. And because of this bomb and this, these spiders are never... No, they're gonna... There's gonna be a huge number of them crawling in here that are gonna go in that way. Hmm. And also down here, eventually, they'd stack up and get through. Standing here isn't great. But that's... Like, about the biggest... amount of shelter I've got anywhere in this room. I mean, that's not bad. Not good enough, but it's not bad. Hmm.
Okay, if I'm... What am I thinking? If I'm over here and these spiders are gone, I'm still gonna have a bunch of spiders coming in this way if I'm trying to hide up in this area. From here... Spiders are gonna get, gonna get down there. From here... Spiders are gonna get in here. From here... That many spiders? Maybe I can kill these spiders and get up here. Maybe I can do something with that. Not like that. Good luck. Not just the same thing I just did. Does not seem promising. Good luck. How does this look if I try to get over here? Not great. Not great. Good luck. Let's kind of see what's happening over here. That just seems like there's so much there. Good luck. The other issue... The other issue is that even if I find a spot, I'm gonna have to get through it quickly enough. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a much easier way I can be doing this. Which is... I can just wait until this is about to blow up. Oh, I didn't quite make it far enough. Okay, well there's the magic spot where up here. Okay. I'm just getting an error for these intense draw graphics messing with my encoder. Um, right, so that's the spot, right? It's a spot. I think I like this area better though. It gives me a little bit more space to get the mimics set up in a way that's good for me.
Maybe that. Okay, it does work. Okay. Walk through the storm. There we go. Ah, hold mastered. All right, I don't need to. I don't actually need to exit at this point. Go to the restore screen. I mean, I just got an achievement for hold. I'm on Drod. Uh, okay, no, the game just kind of crashed on there. Oh, it crashed on me for a second. Seems to be fine. Uh, nope, it's it's really struggling with this. Man, what is with this? What is with Drawn today? I don't think I have anything running on my computer aside from my recording software. I guess it's explored 100% all the way through. Um, aside from the Dream Plane, which is only 1%, that's going to be maybe a thing. Uh, challenges. We have all of them. There might be some in the Dream Plane. Uh, repairing a Broken Dream, I'd say that's a strong candidate for Dream Plane Challenge. Also, it's not showing up yet, which means that I haven't found it. And yeah, that's the only one. Uh, Slayer of Slayers didn't have a location, but that was just to kill the Slayer somewhere, which, which I did. Everything else has a location, right? Actually, while I'm still thinking about it. Uh, was this the one? Yes. Here comes our silly Delver. We can see this now. Challenge. Kill the Slayer in any room except for level 7 1 east and level 22 3 north 2 west, which have their own challenges. And level 25 2 west where killing the Slayer is the normal solution. Right. So, spoilers, I guess, that you would kill the Slayer. And also... The fact that you can kill the Slayer is not something that... Like, the killer, the Slayer is supposed to be unkillable, so... It's fine. Ah, uh, Dream Plane. A sacred, secret place full of otherworldly visions and dreams. The creator's there. Early drawn fan art. So I know a lot of this is just going to be uh, art type stuff, because I have seen this before, uh, Claythor Budkin. So I'm not sure how much time I want to spend on video uh, looking at this. I'll just kind of run through all the rooms, I guess, quickly. See some development stuff going on here as well. Allow spawn on ortho squares. Uh, the game crashes if you hit a bomb with a sword while you're at the room entrance. That's an awfully specific crash, but definitely the kind of thing you want to fix. Uh, placing Mimic with Sword on Bomb needs graphic. Oh, is that a thing you can do? Hmm. Some early development notes and brainstorming for room designs with new Journey Through Hold game elements. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you cannot. Yes, I'm... something. Okay. Get ready, B-Throw. We're waiting. More stuff here. First room puzzle concept sketches for trying out proposed additional elements for Journey to Read It Hold. Ah, I recognize this room. It was uh, on the first level. You throw, mimic. As you would expect. Improving the double stab. Which, I guess the engine... I don't know, did the engine support that with the original King Doom's Dungeon? Or would this not work? And was this just a thing that was sort of done backwards, which me messed up a bunch of demos, potentially, where you had Mimix and Tar working together? Because this is defi very very definitely a deliberate design decision for Journey to Rooted Hold, that this was how this was going to work. The, temp the Tar multi-stab which has caused all sorts of grief for Delvers ever since, I'm sure. Okay, there's an orb there for some reason. 
looking like there was at one point 3D, or I guess 2.5D, I don't know what you'd call that. A more three-dimensional view of the world. Something that they were working on, some fancy slopes. Obviously did not make it into the game. Seep, perhaps? Uh, I guess the biggest issue with this kind of thing would be, as you're seeing here, how do you avoid hiding information? You present it in a way where it's not getting in the way of the player. Hmm. This is just a random person. I don't know if this is ever intended to be a character. Like, a lot of this stuff is just kind of random. But a lot of it is also related to the game in various ways. Alright, well we've got a blue door, so we have to fully conquer the dream plane in order to get through there. Oh, oh right, that's, that's not just an image, it's also a pit. Um, conquering not, not only being uh, if, uh, beating all of the red rooms, but also something. Only dangerous there, falling into a pit, I guess. Um, yeah, also exploring all of the rooms. Which did actually come up on the uh, bomb level, I believe. Where you would potentially clear the entire room except for the entire level except for one room. Which you had to find, but there's nothing to kill in that room, so finding it cleared the level, but then had to escape still. Because of force arrows, the escape was not quite as trivial as it. Might have been. Now uh, we've got some faces here. Okay, nice little... Is this watercolor? Looks like watercolor. Or like those liquid, like, watery felt markers. Which I suppose is really just watercolor in pen form. Uh, doors. I haven't played it yet, but I kind of get the impression that um, Zendaris' wheelhouse has a custom element that might be something, might be kind of swinging door-like. Um, I could be completely wrong with that, but something to check out at some point. Uh, looks like those are probably what the messengers look like. Okay, was that everything? big place. I mean, we did only have 1% exp exploration, which would be between 50 and 150 rooms uh, in Dream Plane overall, depending on how the rounding works. Also, depending on whether you cannot have 0%, I suppose it could be an infinite number of rooms, but I think it would probably round down to zero. I've never seen... I don't know, I haven't seen a 200 lo room level in Drawd before, so I wouldn't know how the engine handles it. Code for the clock. Okay. Uh, some simple English here. Your numbers. Some random four legged creature. Okay, well, looks like that's it for this section. Uh, we've already been there, right? Yeah. Otherworldly visions. Alright, Otherworldly Visions. First patron. That's a character that we're going to meet in the city beneath at some point. I've always liked um, landscape type art. Like, I've never been really big on character art. I mean, it can be nice, but I don't know, I just, I, I really like landscapes, especially trees and water. Quite nice. This is, actually, this was used for Gunthrow and the Epic Blunder, wasn't it? Or something similar to this? 
the title screen. Looks nice. Okay, got some treasure there. Uh, architecture sketches also. Things like this are quite nice. Another thing that I enjoy. Sort of weird uh, church, I guess. Just because I mean, it has a, a tall, what, steeple, I guess? Tower? I don't know what you'd call that. Well, that's uh, an inconvenient place to build a house. These poor moving people. All those stairs. Uh, just before I forget, actually, let's grab this while we're here and I'm thinking about it. Also an inconvenient place to live, but somehow slightly less terrifying than the previous one. Okay. I guess the sea level has risen. I don't know why you'd build a tiled path under the water otherwise. I mean, that might be why these places are on these islands like this, because it could be that the world flooded. Down here. Another character that I don't know if it's supposed to be somebody in particular. In a slightly more realistic style, at least with the face, than like these characters, for instance. So I'm not sure if that's drawn or if it's just a random sketch. Kind of creepy tower there. And more weird architecture. Right, we can go this way. Hello, Tendry. Stalwart soldier. Best of the stalwarts. Oh, there's a pile here for some reason. Hmm. Kind of expecting to have Tendry say something if I stepped on that. I wonder why that's discolored. Not the grass in the corner. Wraith wings, I guess? Or just wraiths. This might not be drawed related. Here, we've got some sort of sorcerer. Figure up at the top. Which draw? Does draw have magic? Just has science that doesn't quite make sense, I think. Rather than actual magic. Although mimic potions are a bit questionable. How does that work? Okay, here are the rooms that we have to- well, like I said earlier, they don't have to be- you don't have to conquer rooms to necessarily have a- like, it could just be an exploration level. Uh, but this is gonna be about just killing some roach queens, I guess. Getting to that tar- uh, the mud mother eventually. Let's go this way. Uh, wrong way to I face- I this room from the south. I came into this room from the south. It was crucial to my strategy. I don't know if that was actually a good idea to do things the way that I did, but it's how I did them. Get there. I bet it didn't matter which entrance you came in from. Of course it did. As you see, the room was only accessible from the south. These jokes get old, you know. Hey, quiet. This is my moment of glory here. 
reference to King Dugan's dungeon where they told pretty much the same joke. I'm back. That's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is fourth level, I believe. We get the version which has trapdoors all around the outside instead of just only inside the maze. Make this a little bit harder. Hmm, I guess you're the one that we kind of want to deal with. First, get you out. Well, if we go all the way around, I'm just gonna leave from the main entrance. Maybe as a mistake to have locked myself off. I get you out. Well, that's fine. Just go around. That gets all of the roaches out. Let's do that to get them all in there. Okay, and as for you, uh, turn order worked out so that that uh, did what I wanted it to. with that, and with some rough um, lighting transitions, we get through the room. Uh, we are going here. I have to drop all the trapdoors. Okay. Not too bad. Oops. Uh, Architect's Commentary. This room puzzle was originally found out at level 4, 1 north, 1 west, but testers found it too hard, so it was replaced with a simpler version. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad, but especially for the first time that you really... I mean, I guess technically there's like that one trap door at the very end of the third level to prevent you from hitting an orb and forcing you to send health to go get it. But the fourth level is really where you, if, you know, during Trooted Hold was your first draw, it would be the first time you ever encountered trap doors. Uh, which would mean that this could potentially be like the second or third trap door room you do. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's, it was good to... Probably, probably not not a bad idea to cut it back the way that they did. All right, gotta do this mess again. Uh, whoops! Let's do it in a way where we can step onto that. Uh, this room used to be located at level 13, 1 east. It was replaced by a puzzle that more conveniently facilitated backtracking. Right, and that one... My game's not going to freak out for me for going onto the restore screen. Yeah, here, okay. Because it kind of has the same, entrance, uh, same exit points. But yeah, this is much... Oh, the arrows are a little bit annoying still, but you know, this is much better for going back and forth. I right, go continue playing game. I am still here. Okay. This is the original version of level 11-3 north. Has an extra arrow just northeast of the bomb, and as a result, is much more challenging. Uh, okay, that would be this arrow right here. Which makes this a lot harder to deal with. Hmm. Uh, 
All right, so we can't we can't just stash a roach in here while we're dealing with it. We have to get all three in here around the same time. Okay. Now you're probably the longest, so let's start with you. I have to go around the other way. Hmm. Problem with this. I could have gotten you stuck here and then brought you back down, but no, to get you out I have to do that. It means that we have to move this roach to there. Hmm. Did I want to do that? doesn't actually make a difference uh, in this position because I'm forced to go down anyway, so... Oh well, and then good thing I hit that checkpoint. We have to get you through there. Uh, nope, because of that arrow I couldn't even put you in this way, so yep, I have to... Okay, this is this is lost. Okay, don't... so we don't do you first. Hmm. And you just kind of stayed where you were, so you're the one who just seems to move. Well, let's move that top right roach first. Join it up. This roach here. Let's get these two roaches together. That. So we can never go around this way anymore. Uh, we're fine. We can still go over here. Is this going to work? Yep, we got them away from that arrow, and where they are, there are no issues. Right, and then we just do the same trick that we did before. Where we bring those two back down. was kind. Okay, not bad. Yeah, a little bit a little bit harder, that extra restriction. We still have to be pretty mindful at the end anyway, because you can't have a roach up here when the bomb goes off, so you still have to kind of catch that trick where you regroup them all back in this corner anyway. So it, it's harder to get to the end point, but this the end step is still sort of the same problem. I, I feel like it's not actually that much harder, but no, it's there. Okay. Uh, apparently there's a much faster way of doing it. This was the original entrance to level 19. It was changed because it was felt that there needed to be a room which showed brain arrow interaction. The path leads to the actual the room's actual entrance point. To start the room, start with your sword facing east. If I don't do that... Can't do anything with these. Okay. Oh, glob. Brains. They control other monsters' movements. Make them finally easier. Okay, uh, it was weird that he said something when he did. Um, like that, but opposite, probably. Uh, 
Right here. Let's optimize this a little bit here. So Oh Glob. Brains down first. Control other monsters' movements. Make them find me easier. That worked. And then this demonstrates very clearly that the roaches will come around once you've dropped. Uh, they're all coming two at a time anyway. So I think, yeah, this is probably about as fast as I'm going to get. Okay, apparently not. Drop all the trapdoors and exit here and then re-enter here? No, would the room would the room let me do that? I don't know. Because it's scripted to only start when I'm standing in a certain spot. Hmm. Maybe. Alright, we were up here briefly. What is this? Some goblins. Snakes. Brain. Targate with a scroll, uh, also Targate leading to the serpent, so it's not just for flavor. Now drop the trapdoors to cut the tar. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. What does this orb do? That opens the way in there, okay, well that's something that I do want to do. Oh, the goblins are split. Ah, uh, that's fine, I guess. We use a goblin to kill the serpent? We have to. Let's see, if we go in here, we can just kill the rattlesnake. Uh, we don't have, like, there are no trapdoors. Uh, sorry, no pressure plates or anything. I can't think of any reason why I would want either serpent alive. Uh, can we kill the serpent somewhere? I mean... Wait, what up is that? This does. Hit that. Serpent will come down here and yeah, I can probably horizontal two, three, four, five, vertical two, three, four, four, uh, not. I mean, I can kill it somewhere in here. That's not, that's not an issue. Use a tar baby if I have to. Alright. We want this brain alive. I'm gonna go with no. Makes killing the rattlesnake a lot easier. Now do I wanna hit this? Probably because Because... Hmm. Yeah, well, I, I... Doesn't really matter. Let's just go down here. And we do have to drop that to get out. Oops, that's... This is where all the efficiency gains would be gained by somebody who is actually optimizing this like me when I'm just not good at that. I make a token effort every once in a while. Oh, you're on vertical. Okay, well then we'll just wait here. Oh, that deals with you. And this is obviously not the way to optimize, but I'm, I'm fine with it. 
The room layout originally made by Doom was used in the winning entry of the Journey to Root Old Lookalike contest on the Draw.net forum. Uh, so, design a room that looks like it could be in Journey to Rooted Hold. Does this look like a Journey to Rooted Hold room? I guess it kind of does. Alright, to get out we need the Mimic Potion, okay. Uh, it doesn't really feel like a Journey to Rooted Hold room, because so much of the stuff in this room just... Like, you have all these unconnected elements that, like, they're all just kind of there for the sake of being there, it feels like. Like, this Mimic is probably the most egregious, um, part of that. Because honestly, you could have just had a green door here and not had that mechanism at all. I mean, I, I guess maybe you wouldn't kill the Serpent. It, it would be possible to get here without killing the Serpent, I guess, but... You're not gonna leave until you've killed the Serpent anyway. Just gonna restart the room? No, I don't know. And this is kind of a, a weird room. Note take. Runner two five five. Oh yes, my my note. Runner number nine two seven. Hmm? Cut. One more time now. The way that um, voices work, I'm almost positive that that cut was added in um, afterwards, because this isn't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they had these three people uh, all recording in the same room at the same time. But I get the impression that people just kind of record stuff independently and send it in for Caravelnet's projects. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, this is going to be that use cutting room. Architect's commentary, this room is to be located at level 11, 4 north, 2 west. The puzzle is somewhat unpredictable due to monster ordering and was replaced with a similar puzzle without that issue. Right. So, same as before, we stand here, light the fuse, bombs go off, eventually the orb is hit, and we have to take out all those roaches. I'm guessing the challenge scroll is going to be to not do that. And that would be repairing a broken dream, wouldn't it? Challenge. Don't step on a fuse end other than the one below the green door. Yep. Okay, so solve the room properly. Don't just take the, the easy out. And I guess they had to take this, this approach rather than just putting a block here, because if they put a door here that could change demos, especially since people would be stepping on that tile. Uh, is that the only one? Uh, nope, we can do it here as well. Uh, we can do it here as well. Okay, well. We're gonna cut that, because this is gonna be the last bomb to go off. In service to that, let's just cut that now. Have these go off towards the end. Oh, they're gonna blow each other up. Hmm, do we want this to... Uh, okay, we could technically light this, but that would kill us. Hmm. I mean, if I have these both go off at once... Not great. So I'm gonna drop that. So this goes off at the very end, because this will catch... Four, five, six, seven roaches probably in this area. Okay, aside from that, we want this to be hit as early as possible. And these other bombs to be delayed if possible. Now uh, let's save and see what this looks like. The problem with a room like this is it's just going to be a lot of Okay, yeah, probably drop that, and this bomb would be timed perfectly. In fact, let's just go do that right now. Um. Oh. 
Yep, yeah, that's repairing a broken dream, which is the last challenge of the hold. I believe we are done. Oh uh, yeah, obviously the the other approach of just killing all of the What's this gonna do? This is gonna Oh get me back down there. No, thank you. Let's actually take this approach here. Yep, that'll lead us back out. Uh, but yeah, just um, lighting the fuse and then killing the roaches with your sword would be so much faster than what I did. I did there. Right. So is that it for the alternate rooms? I don't, don't normally see a scroll bar here. I don't know if I've ever seen a scroll bar going horizontally on this, but presumably the engine would do that if you had a, a level that was too wide. Yeah, this looks like about 100 rooms. No, it doesn't. This looks like about 50 rooms. Um, it looks like a lot of rooms. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Uh, so we solved all the puzzles. But we haven't completed the level yet, because we have to actually look at all this first. Just a jar of... beans? M&Ms? I don't know. This looks kind of like, um, kind of like the character in um, Eric's new game in development, The God Slayer. I mean, I guess this is probably also drawn by Eric, so that's not too surprising, even if it's probably not at all intended to be that. It's just... I'm drawing. Assuming that it was Eric who drew those. Alright, I got a book. And we got some sort of scary yellow diamond. Okay. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Celeste Power Crystal, maybe? That game wasn't out yet. That game came much later. It's a cozy little house, all you really need, right? That may or may not be some sort of dystopian uh, social commentary. Uh, this may or may not be dystopian social commentary. Something going on here. Nail down all those tents. I wonder if this is the guy who moved on to chairs in the next game. Okay. A house. Yeah, that kind of puts them in in perspective size of these things. I mean, I guess they are as big as Bethro. You can see them on the on the main map, but they just kind of look so small. Seeing with the stylized art, but then seeing this, it's like, no, those are, those are big roaches. Just a reminder, I guess. Sunrise at Sun Island. Oh wow, that's been a thing for quite a while. Doesn't actually come up in the Drawed games until uh, Drawed 5. Hoist? Hey, yeah. Hmm. Way too many buttons on the front of that shirt. It's so impractical. Alright, and that was the last room. This is supposed to be Bethro and Half with a portable orb? A door? Um, on a checkerboard floor tile. Got some roaches here. Tene kind of look like angry anime eyebrows.
or happy uh, eyebrows, I suppose, depending on happy eyes, I guess it would be. All right, with the level complete, we still don't have 100% completion because we have to go go back to that blue door. Which I guess the room behind the blue door will be not required, which is why we didn't have to explore it before opening the door. Thank you for playing Draw Journey to Rooted Hold. We've put our hearts and souls into this game and we hope you enjoyed it. I did. Even on the replay, it was still pretty good. Uh, the challenges were enjoyable for the most part, because uh, the remake was uh, a good effort. Good good work was put into it. Uh, join the ongoing adventures of Bethra Budkin as he seeks to unravel the ominous nature of the Underground Empire in Draw 3, The City Beneath, possibly my favorite draw hold of all time. I'm very excited to be playing that at some point, but I won't be. Um, won't be right away, I'll be doing other stuff. Wait, does this room do high scores? I was worried about that. And with that, we cleared the city beneath, just like that. Okay, now uh, this used to be... Didn't this used to be a drawing? A little bit, um... Disappointing that they actually just replaced this with a with an actual room. The drawing had a nice... You no, know, nice flavor to it. Also, I guess that makes this the only actual water in Journey to Rooted Hold. This is uh, an element that'll appear in the city beneath. It's basically a pit, but there are a few slight differences. Alright, but yeah, so that's it for Journey to Rooted Hold. I will not be doing the city beneath yet. I'm probably going to save that as a treat for myself once I uh, get through all of the Journey to Rooted Hold era custom holds, which is going to be... Oh, that's going to take years, probably, uh, at the rate I'm going. But I'll get there eventually. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll, I guess, be playing more modern holds or, you know, maybe playing through some of those old uh, Journey to Root Hold era stuff. And, you know, that'll be hit or miss, but it might make some, for some interesting um, LP content as well. Who knows? Uh, anyway, I'll see you for another hold next time.